I saw someone make a mini cheesecake and I wanted to try to make a high protein version myself. So I have one half cup of cottage cheese, one half cup of Greek yogurt. We're gonna be blending this all up so you can use a blender or a food processor or you probably don't even have to blend it if you don't mind the texture of cottage cheese. This is the cottage cheese that I'm using today. It's organic and has very simple ingredients. I really like this one if I can't find the good culture. Now I'm gonna add in one egg. So, so far everything we have added has protein. Half cup cottage cheese, half cup yogurt, and the egg. And now we're just gonna go ahead and add some honey. I use this Michigan honey from Costco. So I always see this hack where you spray your measuring spoon or a regular spoon in my case, and then you use it for whatever you're measuring and it just comes right off. So we're gonna do two tablespoons of honey. Oh my gosh, that actually worked. Here, let me do it the other way so you guys can see this time. So two tablespoons of honey or whatever sweetener you want. Look at how that just comes right off the spoon. Thank you to whoever taught me that spraying your uh, spoon or measuring spoon helps with things sticking. So that is it. I'm gonna put the top onto this. Like I said, you can use a blender, a food processor, or you could probably just mix it with a spoon if you don't mind the texture of cottage cheese. So let me get this thing on here. I haven't used this in a while, so bear with me. There we go. Okay, and we are just going to puree this until smooth. Okay, that worked really well. So let's check out what the texture is looking like. So it looks like that, perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this aside for a minute. And I have two little ramekins here that I sprayed with some olive oil spray. When I'm buying sprays, I always look for olive oil or avocado oil. You guys can take a look at the ingredients and you want the only ingredient in your spray to be olive oil or avocado oil. You definitely need to ditch the PAM or the non-fat cooking spray because it's filled with chemicals, aerosols, things that we do not want to put into our body. So if you're going to use a spray, you don't have to. You could use regular olive oil or avocado oil, but if you're going to use a spray, make sure you're checking those ingredients. So this makes two mini cheesecake servings. So I'm just gonna pour this right into our little mini ramekins. Try and make it nice and even. A little bit more into this one, maybe a little more into this. Okay, now these are pretty full, so I'm just hoping that these do not spill over the top. Okay, I'm gonna shake it out. So these are all ready to go. I have my oven preheated at 350, so I'm gonna place them in the oven. I'll let you know how long it takes once we pull them out, and we'll see how this goes. We're gonna add some fun toppings on top, so let's wait until these bake, and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, we have one and two. All right, it's been 15 minutes, so let's check on our mini high-protein cheesecakes. Look at these. So it's still a little jiggly, which is exactly what we want. So I'm just gonna set this right on the stove and I'm gonna let these cool a bit before we add our toppings. So I'm gonna let them cool for a few minutes and then we'll come back. So our high-protein mini cheesecakes have cooled a bit. And now for the fun part, we're gonna add some toppings. I have some melted dark chocolate here that I'm gonna put on top. Looks so good. What would you add on your cheesecake? What is your favorite kind of cheesecake? Have you ever been to the Cheesecake Factory? You know there are tons of flavors. So let me know in the comments what your favorite flavor of cheesecake is. So I have some melted dark chocolate and now I'm just gonna add some fresh berries. I feel like berries are so good right now. They taste like candy because they're in season. So I'm adding a few berries on top of each. So look at how good these look. It has our high protein cheesecake, the dark chocolate, our fresh berries. Again, let me know in the comments what you would put on your cheesecake or what your flav favorite flavor of cheesecake is. But I'm gonna let these chill in the fridge for probably at least one hour, but ideally one to two hours. 
and then we'll dig in and try them out. All right, it's been about an hour since our mini high protein cheesecake has been chilling in the fridge. So I think it's time to go ahead and give it a taste. So I'm just gonna get in here, make sure I get some chocolate, some berries. That actually looks just like cheesecake. Okay, now it's time to see if it actually tastes like cheesecake. I have my fingers crossed. Here you go. Okay, that is delicious. I'm so excited, it worked. Look at how good that turned out. I feel like if you topped this with some granola, it would almost have like a crust flavor to it and it would be the perfect cheesecake flavor. I didn't have any granola today, but that's the only thing I would add to this. I feel like that texture is so good. It's high protein, low carb, lower in sugar than regular cheesecake and obviously a lot healthier. This is definitely a win. Let me know in the comments if you'll try this cheesecake recipe out.